Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and in this video we are going to discuss regarding some of the cognizant qualifier assessment and mock qualifier assessment questions. So as you all know, I have already posted many videos uh, regarding cognizant qualifier and mock qualifier assessment questions. So those videos were consisting of Java and SQL questions but still many people were asking me to post some more questions like this. So I am making this video and I will try to make one or two more like this. Uh, so you can check those vi previous videos as well. I will give you the link in the description. So first of all, uh, this question is for SQL and most of the streams, whatever stream you get, most of them are will be consisting of SQL. So I am giving you the SQL questions of qualifier and mock qualifier. So first of all, we will see the schema of the database. So you can see there are four tables in this database schema. Okay. So there are owners table, customers table, renters table and cards table. And there are different different symbols also given. I will suggest do not uh, see the schema at first and get scared about it. Okay. There might be multiple tables, uh, but you will not need all of them according to the question what is given. You have to choose and understand. So first see the question. What is the question? Write a query to display customer ID, name, address and passcode. Whatever we need, customer ID, name and passcode, address also. So customer ID in the customer table, uh, customer name in the customer table, address in the customer table. Passcode is not here and passcode is not even in any of the other three tables also. So out of four, the three things are inside the customer table. So what is the fourth thing that is the passcode? Okay. So first see, passcode is generated by concatenating the first three characters of customer ID and first three characters of email ID. To generate passcode, we will need customer ID and email ID. So customer ID and email ID both are also inside customers column. So we will only need customers table. Okay. Other three tables we don't need. Okay. We don't care about this. Only customer table we will use. So see now how simple it becomes. So all of these three uh, tables will be you can ignore from the schema. Okay. And now the main thing like where for which uh, rows we need to do that for all the customers who have a Gmail account. Okay. So all the customers who have a Gmail account or email account will consist of some value in this email ID uh, particular column. Okay. But if they don't have a Gmail account, it will consist of null. So we will use that concept like is null or is not null part. Okay, for using. And at last of the question, it is asked us to sort the records based on the customer ID in descending order. Okay, next we need to sort the results. So we will uh, solve this question uh, slowly, step by step. First steps, we will uh, need the select columns. What uh, what are the columns we need to show? Customer ID, name, and address. So select customer ID, name, address. We will give comma separated values in the select column. Okay. So and then we need passcode. But for passcode, uh, we don't have any column called passcode. We have to create passcode. So we will give this name as passcode to the alias of this string. That is the sub uh, the uh, first three characters of customer ID and first three of the email ID. So first uh, this substring customer id 1 comma 3 will give us the first three characters of customer id so this uh, substring uh, function you can check from google also what does and how does it work first we need a string value or a column value that contains a string then we need the uh, character number from which we will start our substring and then the number of characters uh, for how long our substring we will continue so we are starting from the first character and we will continue up to three characters okay up to next three characters so substring customer id comma one comma three will give us the first three characters of the customer id similarly substring email id comma one comma three will give us first three characters of our email id now we need to concatenate both this see concatenate it is mentioned here in the question itself concatenating the first three characters of these two so next we will pass uh, both of these two in the concat function okay so don't uh, get scared by seeing this whole thing as a one okay because uh, you have to just break it down first uh, get substring of email id and first sub substring of customer id then we need to concatenate those two okay so inside the concat function we will pass those two okay this will add or uh, concatenate these two parts so this is our passcode that is generated now we get to uh, need to give an alias name to this as passcode okay as passcode so this will uh, this particular thing will be generated as passcode so now we are done with our select uh, select uh, columns what we will get in the output so these four things we will get customer id name address and concatenation of these two that is the passcode now what else we need to do we need to write the where clause and also from which table we are getting from customer table we are getting from which uh, uh, where condition is what where the gmail id where there is a gmail id we will get so okay so where gmail id is not null we will get it 
so from customers where gmail id or email id is not null where email id is not null means it will consist at least any some value that means there is some gmail id or email id okay so if uh, there is a email id it will not consist of null so the where email id is not null will give you all the rows who have a email id for all uh, from the customers table okay and the last part we need to sort the records based on the customer id in descending order okay so for the last part we need to sort the records based on the customer id so we will use the order by uh, order by function so order by customer id will give us the sorted results of the customer based on the customer id in the for the descending order we will write this, this desc keyword for descending order if it was asking for ascending order we will have written asc for ascending order like that okay so that is the concept of the whole question i hope you understood this uh, make sure to like the video and so that everyone can uh, see this